Hey everyone, this is Ashwini Parikh. I welcome you all to my channel. Um, I hope you all are doing well in this pandemic situations. I mean, it's a tough time. We all need to be safe and take care of our family. Um, I urge all all of you to be stay at your place and do check do check to your family members that if they are doing well or not. Um, second thing, I would like to thank my two hundred subscribers. Um, it's it's a small numbers but uh, for me it's a big huge deal because uh, i never thought okay, with this tutorials i will um i will reach to this point also and there's a uh, huge way we have to go so thank you all um next <laughs> let's go to tutorial uh, so in this tutorial i'm going to tell you how to make this kind of sci-fi elements in illustrator it's a simple technique and it will not take much time uh, i also use third party element so uh, which make my job easier uh, i will share it's linked in the description below so without any any further delay let's get started so to begin with let's uh, take a circle I'll take it 20 by 20 pixels. Now choose this, choose its outline to be white. Eliminate its inner color and go to uh, effect transform. Um, select move tool and um, make it till 25. Yeah, this is good. You should not press enter like I put, <laughs> like I used. So, Effect, distort, and transform. Transform uh, 25. Copies to be 25. Yep. Uh, make it 40. And hit OK. Now go to Object, Expand Experience. Uh, after expanding its appearance, press F5. It will open Brush Tool Panel. So just click, uh, click and drag it to there. It will open a dialog box which will ask uh, in what form do you want to save this brush as. So choose Pattern Brush. Hit OK and do mind this uh, two, two options and check this one and check this one and do check that uh, stretch to fit is on okay let's name it like um, circle no. <laughs> okay. and hit okay now delete this i'll take one more circle Let's increase its size by uh, 500 by 500. Put it to center. And now delete it. Delete its one angle. So, um, okay, I have to tell you guys something. Before that, I have to uh, complete one step. So, right now, go to object, transform, reflect. Choose vertical one and preview uh, and yeah, copy. Okay. Oh, shift it like this. Okay. Uh, here you, will, you guys won't think why I didn't use uh, erase uh, slash tool or uh, scissor tool or knife tool. But this there will be one problem uh, if you guys use this kind of tool to do this. Uh, in few, uh, future steps it's gonna make a huge problem for you so that's why i used this object and transform tool so next next step will be um go to brush panel hit this now you can see that um the circle is on its path zoom it and these guys are like oval in shape Increase it so that it can come into the perfect circle shape. 
Yeah, this is fine. Uh, this is looking much better. Now I'll increase this distance so that it will look like a perfect circle. And tell here, do mind that you don't have to join this both object. Okay. So now I select this one and go to object, use blend tool and use blend option. Uh, specify it steps by 50 points and do mind it to orientation to be a hard work along to page hit ok now go to object make blend so you look uh, you will see a pattern like this which is little bit indefinite uh, change it till you will see a pattern like this a pattern like this one ok and now drag it to the center uh, now go to object expand its appearance now again go to object expand uh, uncheck stroke and fill and hit ok ok now go to edit shape big tool and choose crystallize um, select its width to 500 by 500 intensity to be 10 percent and detail to 2 is good complexity 1 is good but okay uh, we have to choose we have to we have to increase it so now <laughs> take 700 by 700 oh. Hit OK. So, caution uh, here CPU usage will be will increase. So, uh, one thing what I can suggest to you that uh, go to preference uh, file handling. Uh, check that the, the, the two, check, uh, two things are on GP performance and emulated zoom. And hit it OK, come here and go to its center point and click on it. Fine, okay, twice, twice, four times until you find your appropriate um, object or appropriate effect, you can click it. see how it is um let's decrease its stroke fit now see yeah cool so go to object and stroke to inside now see Uh, 
uh, you can also use some effect like auto glow over here so that you can as uh, you can um, get a nice glowing or nice futuristic kind of look over to this object the steps uh, use pen tool and draw a shape like this over here this should not be precise some random shape uh, will be more useful from here gradient on it use radial gradient this will give you nice effect here and select this path and add this one go to <coughs> good points <coughs> my bad sorry script divide selected and this is the script which i was talking about earlier i will share its link in the description below hit okay now you can see that it's automatically applied to every notch. So like this. I don't have to do manually like this. Yeah. So uh, like this you can make a visualistic look objects. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um um so regular stuff do like share subscribe and support me for for the more tutorials thank you and um hope you guys go you guys be safe and sound in future also thank you so much bye, -bye.